Amtrak trains will depart from the old Willard station in Niagara Falls for the last time, and they're relocating to the brand new station. It's been two and a half years since workers started building this station, and now for the first time, trains will pass through. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin live for us in the newsroom. Liz, what was the big holdup here? Well, lease negotiations, Ed, were originally a little more complicated than they thought, but the good news is the dotted lines are signed, and a new service is rolling into Niagara Falls starting today. Now, this new two story intermodal train station features a clock. Tower, a waiting room, restrooms, an Amtrak ticket office, and even a U.S. Customs and Border Inspection facility. But in addition to that, it'll also house an underground railroad museum open to travelers to visit, which is pretty cool. This is the first new station to open in New York State since Albany Rensselaer debuted in 2002, and some Niagara Falls residents say they couldn't be happier about it. It's a beautiful facility. I think that it's a first step or maybe even a second step to rebuilding uh, Main Street here in Niagara Falls, which, which has just been, over the years, um, gotten worse and worse. Now, Amtrak and the city of Niagara Falls reached an agreement on a 20-year lease for this space. However, the Customs and Border Patrol facility, which does take up a good portion of that space, is under a separate lease. Ed and Katie, I'm pretty excited. In the next hour and a half or so, I'll be headed up to Niagara Falls myself for that last departure from the Willard Avenue station and to the new station on Depot Avenue. I can't wait. It'll, it'll be really exciting. It's been a long time in the making. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Liz, thanks so much.